Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Free 160 Free. I'm here with Todd Chase. My name is Keith Andrew, and this is the Keith Andrew Network. For a half hour, 35 minutes of your time, it's a special interview. Tell us all about yourself. You can ask me anything. Support in a good cause, making a new friend out of it. So that being said, let's jump right into it. So what can you tell us about yourself? Well, right now I'm uh, involved with the projects um, um, in the film industry and uh, creating um, um, a new reality TV show. Um, and I'm really excited to work with um, uh, a bunch of people. I think you actually interviewed like Matt Roy and Craig Aarons like a week or two ago. So those are some of the, the guys that um, that I'm uh, um, affiliated with, and we're bringing um, the Young Miller story uh, to life about uh, Young Miller and how Master P like, like brought him out of uh, of New Orleans, and we're going to do uh, uh, we're writing his his story right now, and um, it's going to be in post production um, pretty soon. So there's just um, there's a bunch of different projects. Um, that I'm, I'm involved with in, um, in my writing um, of screenplays. You know, I, I started off as uh, a couple years ago just being an extra in a movie. Uh, they asked me if I'd be an extra, and the guy with lines didn't show up that day. And then and he do some lines for us, and I killed it. And the director said, you know, man, you should be on the big screen. You should be pursuing this. So, so for the last two years, that's what I've been doing. So it was kind of, it was kind of an exciting, fun, uh, fun moment. Yeah. So now, now I, now, now I just, uh, I, you know, uh, um, I've been clean and sober since uh, uh, 2010, and uh, you know, I was pretty uh, lost and, uh, you know, walking on the side of the road, uh, homeless with my dog, wanting to die, and so like I believe that, you know, we all get an opportunity to like inspire other people to follow their dreams that it's not too late to change and uh, you know we all have something to contribute so you know I, I really like uh, what uh, you're doing inspiring other people you know just keep pushing on and, and uh, don't let fear stop you so that's a little bit about me <laughs> but, so uh, yeah so right now you know I, I, I write skits I do comedy um, um, I'm just I've just kind of been on fire ever since I changed my life, and um, you know um, it's 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 fun to uh, go out and put smiles on people's faces and talk to the homeless um, and to just to take time out just to learn how you know I had a, a near death experience and um, you know my car uh, I was in a blackout. And my car, I went off into the river, and I was submerged underwater for a really long time. And my whole life flashed before my eyes, all the good, the bad, and, like, everything I'd ever done in my life wrong. And I was, uh, when, when the police came and I got out, I, I pushed my steering wheel all the way to the dashboard and got out. And the police told me that I'm not the first one that's uh, been in there, but I'm the first one to escape with my life. And, um, you know, through that whole process, like, um, you know, my whole life, like I said, flashed before my eyes. And I, it, I was told that basically I have a purpose, and our purpose is to learn how to love each individual unconditionally. You know, we're, we're supposed to be put on the time to learn how to love people. And so that's my mission, man, is to uh, take the time out to listen to people. Uh, and, and just try to love my, uh, my brothers and sisters in the world, you know what I mean? So that's a tall task to do, especially in the entertainment with big egos and, uh, and uh, people that think that they're better than, than everybody else. And, and you know what? We're all on equal playing ground. You know, God made all of us, uh, you know, with special gifts, talents, and it's just finding that... Um, thing from inside that, 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 we're, we're, that we're here for. So obviously, you're here to, to talk to other people and inspire other people. So um, let's, let's, why don't want you tell me about some of the stuff you're doing right now? Hey, Bob, what do you like to know? Um, so uh, what did you, I saw you, do you have some foundation? So do you sell, you sell some merchandise too also? or Trying to, but I have to find a dis... Uh, trying dis to sell some merchandise? 
trying to get a distribution person to help me with that. But yeah, I do have um, dog tags and a shirt and a hat, and I'm trying to get out to people. Right. Hey, if you know anyone, so um, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you are you on eBay or where are you at? Where are you at? Where where can I find yourself? Oh, well, right now it's. You, you need to put. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Skype, so. It's, my hand. Well, Skype, you know, so it's got to yeah. cut in, and cut out. But um, occasionally, I would use Booster dot com. But for right now, I just uh -huh. think focusing on the talk show message. That's the first step. And right. Once I get in front of people, you get more people supporting me. Then we can go back to the merchandise. Correct. Yeah. So, how many followers do you have right now? Um, let's say. Um, I'm trying to get. You. I'm asking the tough questions, huh? Am I asking the tough questions? <laughs> no, it's pretty good. I don't say we really didn't the think tough about. <laughs> So my backup page, I have about 564 people. My main page, my Facebook main page, has over 444 people. Twitter is over, cool. almost near 800. Instagram's almost nice. near 200. So you know, it's pretty much hit nice. and miss. Yeah. Well. You yeah, and, and my and so is and so is my hand holding this while we're having a Skype uh, interview. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't get like Snoop Dogg on here, huh? Snoop Dogg makes everything interesting, I think. Yeah, he does. We need a little Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Who doesn't need a little Snoop Dogg in life? I mean, everybody does. Some gin and juice, you know? Some gin and juice on on the porch. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, and, and then I also do um, luxury uh, wine tours where I take um, some of the richest people in America come here, and then I take them to these uh, really amazing wineries, and, um, you know, and I've got an opportunity to, you know, to drive some celebrities and kind of pitch some of my ideas, and um, they're like, dude, you just got to just go for it, you know, like when you get that gut feeling, when you get that gut feeling and you've got a good idea, you just got to, like, take that and roll with it and run with it and uh, and see what happens. So the problem with me is I feel like, you know, I get a million great ideas a day, and then I think I got to pursue every one of them, and it's, it's trying to find the focus, you know, to focus it down on one project at a time. And kind of that's, uh, you know, uh, been my struggle, my personal struggle is, you know, a little bit of ADHD, and uh, probably I need Ritalin or something. Some kind of drug that'll slow me down a bit, but you know I can't do drugs anymore. Damn it! And uh, you know I'm pretty much stuck on the sober path, which keeps me awake at night a lot. And then I get a chance to write and create, and um, because I have been through the depths of hell and lived in the depths of hell, now I get to write about TV because like the the TV show that I'm that I'm writing right now, and and I can't divulge too much information about. Um, but the message is going to be that um, basically, um, you know, when I, when, I, when I grew up, I heard all kinds of messages that I would never amount to anything, that um, I would never be able. Um, and basically, you know, the things that you're told when you're a child, you kind of, you know, uh, I was told I'd probably go to prison uh, and, and I wouldn't be able to do much in my life. Um, and um, so uh, I'm writing a ship. Of, kind of about that, that, you know, and hopefully it'll make a difference um, in how people treat their children um, because this guy is going to take people and he is going to give them the option to change or die. And uh, it's kind of a black, dark comedy, but it's also, it's, it's going to have a message um, that, you know what, um, we need to bring our kids different messages and giving our children different hopes and dreams because I because to, to me the criminals are the people that steal the dreams of children and tell them that they can't amount to much you know what I mean um, if we're given the right information and the right encouragement I think that you know people can go a lot further in life you know and they have that head start you know uh, in, in their lives you know luckily I they found mine it's, you know I'm 45 years old 
but it's never too late to keep inspiring and keep uh, you know trying to make a difference in the lives of other people. Because uh, I mean, I I know that's for me that's what um, my life's about is trying to make the difference, make making the people around me better, you know, and, and trying to give them hope. Um, so yeah, so that's been pretty much that's pretty much why I know I'm here. You know, I finally got a purpose, and um, so yeah, it's it's uh, life's exciting when you when you're when you have a purpose. Right. <laughs> it's 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 you know uh, so yeah. I, it, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be hard to talk for thirty five minutes about myself. Man. Well, you're doing pretty good. Well, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, I'm gonna actually. It's, 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 it's a, <laughs> I got a motor mount. <laughs> well, we're gonna take a quick. If I can commercial. just use it to run a power plant, this mouth can run a power plant. <laughs> if I can just motor it and just. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told that a lot. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So we're going to take a quick so, yeah, commercial so break. Right now, and when we come back, I'm going to pass the show over to you. Get a personal video message for yourself or as a gift for someone else. For personal connections, shout-outs, birthdays, proposals, weddings, and much more. Enter your details about yourself so the celebrity can record a personal video message, especially for you, including details such as your name, age, birthday, hobbies, or whatever else you include. As soon as the video has been recorded, you'll get an email with your link so you can share it on social media or download and keep it. Celebrities record videos as and when they can, usually within two weeks. But if you want a video for a specific date and it does not look like it will arrive in time, you can cancel it and get an instant refund at the click of a button. There are hundreds of celebrities to choose from and many more joining every day. Search by category or genre. Buy a gift voucher, get updates and offers, and encourage your favorite celebrities to join so they can connect with fans in a fun and unique way. Raise money for their charities and much more. So order your video now for yourself or for someone else. I'm so bored. Want to see something really cool? Now you'll never be bored again with Loot Crate, a totally bodacious mystery box packed with awesome toys, radical games, and other surprises. And the best part is, you can get Loot Crate delivered right to your door. So don't delay. Ask your parents and order today. Everything okay in there? Yeah, everything great. <laughs> I love Loot Crate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome okay. back to the Key Fans You Network. This is episode 363. Here is Todd Chase. Just want to say thank you for sticking with us. And now I'm going to ask you some hard-hitting questions, and then I'm going to pass the show over to you. But the first question I'm going to ask you is, and if I sound easily, I apologize because I'm just fighting over a cold. But the first question I'm going to ask you is, what were some of your early work... And who influenced you to become an actor? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I only started two years ago, and um, uh, uh, Robert Parr, he's a five-time um, kickboxing champion, and Aldo D'Souza de, de was the director of this film, and I got asked, like I said, to, to be cast, uh, just as an extra, and, and the guy didn't show up with lines, and then they asked me to, um, you know, do the scene, and um, I killed it, and um, they were like, man, you, you really need to pursue this thing, because um, you're just like a natural on camera, and, you know, um, so actually Robert Parham, and then I got to hang out with some of him and his friends, uh, Conan Lee, who was um, in the... Uh, Lethal Weapon 4, he was uh, one of the badasses that took a, uh, um, you know, I've got to hang out with him and just get to really, actually just get to meet some really cool people that, you know, have been in the movie industry for a really long time. Um, Fred Williamson was on that set, you know, and um, there was a lot of really cool, uh, Marcus D. Taylor, who played uh, Suge Knight in uh, Straight Outta Compton, and um, just a lot of cool people that were, you know, super down to earth um, that got, that were cast in, um, 
the movie is called Jackson Bolt, and um, there's going to be a screening at the Brainwash Theater in San Francisco um, this Sunday. So at nine o'clock, um, I'll get to be back, um, hang out with uh, some of these guys that uh, you know that, that I got to be on set with, and you know it's it's kind of fun because like when you're on set, you know I'm that guy that's always on set making everyone laugh, uh, and like you know we're always just goofing off and and uh messing around and 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 it's just like those are that's kind of where i found my people you know I'm, you know i love, love being around people that are creative and um you know there's nothing quite like when you get to get in character and be somebody you're not um because i've been a lot of people i've been a bad guy i've been a good guy in life and so getting to play that in uh on cameras so so much fun and and, and rewarding, um, especially when the product comes out good. So, which hopefully it does. I, I don't usually watch myself. I also get played in like this Japanese TV show too, where they dub dub uh, they dub everything in Japanese and they recreate um, American stories and tell it in Japanese. So I'm probably I'm most likely I'm freaking huge in Japan. I'm almost I'm almost certain. No, I'm joking. I'm just joking. Now, my next question... You got any more questions? That was a long answer, wasn't it? No, I'm fine that with that. That was long-winded. That was pretty long. <laughs> what, my next Can question... Can I excuse your nasalness right now? No, I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> next question I was going to ask you is who were some of the biggest stars you got the chance to work with and become friends with? Um, I, I would have to say... I don't know. I mean, I'm friends. Uh, probably Conan Lee is uh, is probably the probably the biggest star um, that I've made friends with, and uh, you know, he's uh, right now he's producing his own movies and um, doing stuff, but he's doing it in China um, um, because he makes uh, movies and it's just a no brainer. Um, he was like a martial, uh, one of the great artists, and he was uh, actually teaching. Um, he was teaching um, uh, how to fight martial arts to film because, like, when when you're on film, you have to do martial arts in a different way so it comes off on camera. And so he was back in Hollywood back a long time ago training people, and, and what happened was they thought he was, they actually thought he was Jackie Chan back then. And they came up to him asking him all these questions. And like, hey, and they thought, and so they were like, going, hey, Jackie Chan, sign our autograph, and he actually signed it, you know, his name, because he didn't know any better, so he signed it, Conan Lee, and, because that's who he was, and they got mad at him, um, because they're like, what are you doing, what are you doing, he's like, I just, they just asked me for my autograph, I'm sorry, my name, but he's gone on to do, you know, um, tons of, uh, you know, uh, Mark, uh, he was, uh, what was Mulan, he was like the voice of Mulan, and um, some of, uh, just a, just a really, charismatic character and um you know he told me you know there's there's a lot of there's not a lot of, there's a lot of bad people and uh you know like he's gonna so he's been my basically been my mentor he's my mentor right now um who um i kind of want to um you know if, if somebody's been in hollywood and they've been in the in the industry for a long time they can help you out in making some of the mistakes that they possibly made so like having mentors that are um that have been in the industry a long time or you know are super valuable because i don't want to have to make at my age i'm 45 trying to get in here and um you know i i don't have the the, the time to make the mistakes that other people you know that are starting off in their younger years um you know have an opportunity to you know make those mistakes so it's time for me to shine and uh, and, and and go out go after this so um that's where i'm at so yeah, so so Conan Lee would probably be the the most famous, and uh, yeah. Hey, you got I, another one? My other question is: Have you ever worked in retail, and what were some of your favorite stores, and what stores you hated working in? I've never worked retail. I worked nightclubs. I used to promote nightclubs, and I used to be a DJ. Um, back in the days, and so what I used to do is promote and uh, do raves back in the day, and I would used to pack stadiums. So, um, 
And uh, so I make music, I write music, I sing music. Um, I also play in a band. So uh, I can't even snap my fingers. But that, but, but, <laughs> I was thinking of the jerk right there from uh, Steve Martin. Um, but yeah, uh, no retail. I've never been in retail stores. Um, I kind of like, you know, what my saying used to be is like, I don't, I don't like wearing anything that has labels because I think there's too many damn labels in society. So, um, you know, uh, my thing is, is that, uh, in fact, I used to buy labels and rip the labels off when I was younger. And uh, I was like, man, I ain't being labeled anything. Um, oh, um, no, man, I, I've never been a follower. Uh, I, I don't, labels don't impress me. Matter of fact, I mean, like, unless you're a kind person, like, even actors don't impress me unless they're kind, you know what I mean? Because um, we're just all people. Everybody's just, I mean, we put our shoes on the same. And, uh, you know, there's some really good, kind, like-minded people out there. Um, and those are the people that I, I, those are the kind of people I want to be like, you know, or emulate, you know, or kind, kindness, people that are kind. No, absolutely. So no, no, so no labels. I wear Adidas, man. I have about a hundred pairs of Adidas shoes. <laughs> that might tell you. My favorite ones are red, red and striped. <laughs> now, my last question for you, wrapping up our talk show segment, is when I first approached you to be a guest on my talk show, what was your first reaction? And after being a guest on my show, how you feel now? Uh, my first reaction was, wow, yeah, hey, this guy's really, um, like, doing something for um, people, and I was excited just to be able to talk to you. You know, um, I, I love like-minded people and people that are trying to make a difference in the world and, 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 and uh, you know, I, I think we're, God has given us all that gift to inspire others and to be kind and to do the right things and... Um, yeah, I was really excited to come on here because, you know, um, I'm always looking for an opportunity to, to, to meet a new friend. You know, I'm not above or below any, uh, anybody. We're all equals on this planet. And, uh, and, and that's the kind of life that I try to practice and, and participate and take time out to, to, to listen to people and to hear the message because, um, there's a message in, in everything that, that goes on in life, and you know it's just it's, it's just if I'm willing, if my ears are open enough to listen, um, you know God's got a direction for me, and um, yeah, I was super excited to come on here and talk to you. Um, you know, matter of fact, I said a little prayer before I came on and just said, you know, um, you know, I just want I don't have to plan anything. I just try to ask God to help guide me and. In, in my words and in, in my actions and how I treat people. So, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an honor and a plug. privilege to talk to you today. And, you know, I uh, wish you so much success in, um, in, in what you're doing. And, and um, you know, keep inspiring. And uh, it's, it's, really, it's really been a fun experience. No, absolutely. This is what I want to do until I die. That's how passionate I am about this. You know, I don't really take this yeah. as, a, as I don't really take this as a joke and I get offended when people think this is a joke but this is really what I want to do just become a um, perfect example become famous and just become an, an example the same labels don't dictate yeah. who you are and who you're going to be yeah exactly and that's what you're doing, man, um, Keith, and that's exactly what you're doing, and that's what it, exactly what I'm doing, too, you know, um, you know, I was a washed out, hopeless drug addict on the streets um, that was really no good for my community, um, I did a lot of bad things, and um, now I get to bring love, and I, I've gotten an opportunity to change, and, um, you know, I want to help other people change, too, you know, so um, that's kind of my lifelong mission, even if, you know, I never become famous, or any of that happens. I'm the only reason I'm in this industry is to create. Um, I, I don't care if I if my name's never known or anything, but I have some beautiful projects that are in the works where I think it can help change lives, and that's that's what this whole film process. That's why I'm in this whole film process is to make a difference. 
So, um, so hopefully that's going to keep continuing, and um, I'm building uh, my brand and my label and helping another uh, entertainment uh, company do theirs at the same time. And, you know, we're all a bunch of good people, like-minded, and, 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 you know, um, that's who I surround myself around. Just keep surrounding yourself around good people, and it'll happen. You know, I remember when I was 12, and there was an old guy, and he walked up to me. He told me, show me your friends. I'll show you your future. And I never took word to that. I, cause I, but I was the bad friend anyway. So I had all these bad people around me. And it was the truth. And, and until I started changing my friends and surrounding myself with good people. And now I drive billionaires and millionaires, some of the most successful people um, around the world come to the Napa Valley to, um, to do wine and do these exclusive wine tours that I take them on. Um, just really small, small places. And so, like, I'm shaking uh, hands with some of the most successful people, and, 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 they, and they actually like me and think I'm funny. And it, it's just funny how, you know, uh, my, my friends changed, my life changed. So um, I keep hanging out with the winners, man. No, I agree with you. It's all about making new yeah. friends and yeah. new people, making a difference. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, with that being said, it was a real honor and privilege having you as a guest on the show, and I'm looking forward to building in a friendship with you as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Keith. Yeah, yeah, you're a great guy, and um, yeah, it's been, been a great experience.